Thanks for watching. This is the Arma Fire Team 6S. This is waterproof brushless vehicle. This is a tactical looking unit, isn't it? Thanks for watching. Today we're taking a look at the Arma Fireteam 6S. This is a brushless, waterproof, tactical vehicle that can perform some evasive maneuvers. What does all of that mean? Why does it look like this? Was I surprised when I got it? Because that's also uh, a question that uh, Arma had. Arma wanted me to uh, film my own face while I was unboxing this thing. Well, uh, mine came in so late. That's also why you haven't seen this video before now. Mine came in so late that uh, the surprise was already gone because I had uh, seen the vehicle online already. And uh, so that kind of took the surprise away. However, I was really surprised when I saw the first pictures of this thing because it is something that I think a lot of people have asked for. If you go back to comments both on Facebook and YouTube, there are people asking for stuff like this and then I think that they do a good job at listening. Seeing the response in hindsight, I think that's something that I want to address in this video. So people ask uh, companies, can't you come up with like a side-by-side -side seater? Wouldn't it be cool if we have like uh, some sort of rock racer or rock bouncer? Can't we have a military themed vehicle? Uh, can't we have something that is a bit inspired by the game industry? And I think a lot of that stuff is uh, rolled into this vehicle. So everybody wanted to have kind of like a Call of Duty themed vehicle or something that is like Halo inspired or Metal Gear Solid even if you're like an old fart like myself. Uh, I think really feels hurt because this really uh, kind of replies to all of those calls for something new. I do think that this is a really fresh looking vehicle. Uh, it kind of carries a story with, because what is a fire team? I had never heard of it. A fire team is a tactical unit consisting of four people who uh, quickly go in and out of some sort of tactical situation to whatever they need to do. That is exactly what you see over here. These guys are on a mission. Three of them have a rifle, I believe in a real fire team, one of them would have like, would be like the grenadier or whatever, however you say that. Then you have one driver and then uh, three people with, uh, two people with rifles, one with grenades, uh, whatever. I do think that uh, they captured something over here. This is not, most European people I think uh, misunderstood what this was. This is not a couple of people off-roading doing drive-by shootings. That's, that's, <laughs> that's not what they're trying to depict over here. This is a military assault uh, vehicle. Also has, uh, of course, a bit of like digital camo going on. Gimp suits, but you know, like flat clear, so it doesn't look like a gimp suit. Well done, Arma, for uh, spraying some flat clear over that uh, interior. And then these uh, tactical looking run flat tires with that uh, honeycomb pattern. If you see these in uh, the real world on uh, military vehicles, this is all open, of course. Uh, Proline at some point had some sort of prototype tire. I'm still bummed that I don't have those. They had some sort of prototype tire out that had that actual structure. Uh, these, however, they're kind of faux. You can also imagine, I guess, that if you were to have open tires like that, uh, with a vehicle that can pull off some evasive maneuvers because it has like a handbrake in the back so you can do sliding and stuff like that. And if you're bashing this in the real world, because I mean the real world is full of gnarly stuff, like for example, uh, dog excrement, and you come bashing with your vehicle doing 60 miles an hour and you slide this sideways with the honeycomb tires through a steaming pile of dog shit that you have your day completely ruined in one go because then you can find a bunch of Q-tips to try and clean that out. That's not what you want. So they kept, um, by closing these sides off, they kept, I think, a happy balance between it looking good, it looking scale, it having some sort of like tactical feel to it, but also having some real life usability. That's also what happens when you take this uh, body shell off. If you take the body shell off, you see it's a really nice molded cage, tons of body panels. So this is one of the most detailed bodies I think that uh, Arma has ever produced. Now, whether it's a cup of tea or not, that is of course up to you. This is just catering to a certain segment of uh, people 
that uh, want to have something that looks either military, game-like, um, yeah, stuff like that. I think uh, it is cool to see this out. Uh, underneath, a lot of practical use with it being something that most of us recognize immediately. This is a Mojave chassis. These are crate and arms. That also means I don't see anything wrong with it. That also means that spare parts are really easy to find and uh, you can get those in any hobby shop. So if you break this, chances are if you have friends, for example, I'm not one to have a lot of friends at all, but if you have friends and they have RC cars, could be that they have spare parts that you can use. Now, of course, there's always stuff to be uh, desired. For example, steering servos. People say, oh my God, I don't like that steering servo. No, you know what? That's why there's companies like, for example, uh, Reefs. They make great, really high rate, uh, high torque steering servos that cost a bit more as well. But uh, you can, of course, easily replace this as you go. However, you know, right from the box, there's really no need. Everything does function the way that uh, it is intended. Over here in the back, you see that uh, handbrake servo, which is completely new to me. I do believe that this is something that I have in the infraction as well, that uh, type of setup. And uh, well, overall, I guess no surprises, aluminum body shocks, with uh, aluminum caps and aluminum adjustment rings. Uh, really nice beefy looking drive lines. Well, these wheels and tires, of course, these are completely new. So they do give it a bit of uh, a different initial feel along with these uh, bumpers. Um, the ESC and uh, the motor, there is a high speed pinion gear included if you want to make it go 60 miles an hour uh, or 100 kilometers. If you do that, do it on asphalt. If you put that on and you go bashing in mud or in sand, full throttling it, of course stuff is going to catch fire. So uh, this is by no means an underrated system. Just the fact that arm has been ballsy enough to include a high speed pinion gear doesn't mean that you need to run it everywhere. Over here is then that uh, tray for your batteries where you can also uh, as per arm tuck away your balancing plugs really neatly. And if you want to, if you don't, for example, like this uh, radio, this is a very basic spectrum radio. The SLT3, if you want to, Run a different type of radio if you have, for example, a cool DX5 Pro, DX5R, or a rugged. You can easily bind it to that uh, receiver that you find in this waterproof receiver box. Apart from that, this is still a true basher. So it has all of the components that you used to from Arma. All of those bash proof, super tough components, like for example, those uh, crate and A-arms, like for example, that uh, Mojave chassis. It just has a really nice looking body. I think that uh, the people who were perhaps expecting something that was uh, completely new from the ground up, that those are the people who have been most disappointed, if you want to call it that, by this release. I think that this is a very welcome addition. Uh, there's a lot more detail going on over here. It's really, it's almost like um, a scasher, a scale basher. So there's a lot of detail going on. You can definitely give this your own little twist. So uh, if you want to turn this into something without like that uh, real military theme, you can just go ahead and do that. You take away those guns, you give those guys little uh, baguettes, for example, bottles of red wine, and uh, you make the driver hold the breed, and you have like a French themed type of uh, happier uh, rig that doesn't look as intimidating as this tactical rig does. Uh, basically, you have a really nice base and you can just take it from there, customize it to your own needs and your own uh, desires. I think that I want to repaint this body, perhaps in a different color. If you have a cool color, let me know in the comments box and I will make sure that the color with the most likes, that that will be what I'm going to paint on this. I think uh, that could be a fun new challenge. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comments section down below. I will try to get back to you as well. If you have not subscribed yet, please do, as it is free. And I, for now, will make sure that I charge two 3S batteries so I can take this thing out for a spin because I am really curious to see how it behaves. Um, really cool new looking unit from Arma. Check out a link to the Arma Fire Team in the video description below this video uh, to see where you can pick one up. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.